Heather Graham Talks Religion, Getting Naked in Boogie Nights and Licking Mike Myers in Austin Powers. The actress looks back on her career from License to Drive to On a Wing and a Prayer. You might say that Heather Graham's latest role required a leap of faith. The star of such era-defining favorites as License to Drive and Boogie Nights appears opposite Dennis Quaid in the new faith-based drama, On a Wing and a Prayer. Premiering on Prime Video just in time for Easter weekend, the movie depicts the harrowing true story of Doug and Terry White, a Christian couple from Louisiana who were forced to land the small passenger plane carrying themselves and their two teenage daughters after their pilot suddenly died mid-flight. As depicted in the movie, Doug was experiencing his own crisis of faith at that point in his life. But bringing the plane safely down to the ground, despite only having a minimum of training with that particular aircraft, reignited his belief in a higher power. I'm in the good Lord's hands flying this, White reportedly said while in the cockpit. On a wing and a prayer director Sean McNamara, who previously helmed another faith-based true story, Soul Surfer, about professional surfer, Bethany Hamilton, doesn't shy away from incorporating Christian themes into the film. But Graham feels that the movie will appeal to viewers of all faiths. I wouldn't consider myself to be very religious, but I do think I'm spiritual, the 53-year-old actress tells Yahoo Entertainment. The film is about the dark night of the soul, where you feel something terrible is going to happen, and you don't know if you can get through it. Then you find that connection to a higher power, whichever one you believe in. I don't think it's trying to exclude anyone from any religion, Graham adds. It's about having that faith and that connection to a higher power. There's moments in life where you really need to pray whether it's to a Christian God or Muslim, Jewish or Buddhist, whatever. Everyone's looking for a spiritual connection in those moments. It hasn't escaped Hollywood's attention that faith-based audiences have been a reliable movie-going demographic in recent years, powering Christian-themed releases like Breakthrough and Jesus Revolution to box office success. Graham says that she recently watched On a Wing and a Prayer with a small audience that included both religious and agnostic viewers. We watched it at, producer, Roma Downey's house, and she's very spiritual. But my manager's boyfriend was also there and he's very familiar with engineering and flying, so he was screaming at the movie because it's so tense. People get very tense when they watch it, even though they feel good at the same time. Spending the bulk of the movie sitting in the cockpit of a small plane, on a soundstage, not in the sky, generated plenty of tension for Graham. I am a little bit claustrophobic, and it was a small space, she recalls. The controls take up most of the room so you can't stand up. We were hitting our heads a lot, because we forgot how small it was. It was also really hot, because we shot the movie in the summer and had to turn off the air conditioning because of the noise. We were all just sweating and freaking out while imagining things that aren't really there. You're actually looking at a wall, but you have to pretend that you're looking at a storm or a runway. Graham's daughters in the movie are played by Abigail Ryan and Jesse Case, who are about the same age now as she was when she started acting in the 80s. Asked if she notices a difference between the challenges facing the current generation of young performers and her own, the Hollywood veteran says that the industry as a whole is a little less sexist, now though far from ideal. And she's also concerned about the impact social media is having on young people, whether they're pursuing an acting career or not. There are disturbing statistics about young teenage girls committing suicide more because of social media, she notes. I particularly care about women's issues, so I'm concerned about how, social media, affects women and young girls. Asked what she tells young women when they seek her out for career advice, Graham says it boils down to three simple words. The best career advice is just, Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, be confident and don't listen too much to what other people say. At the Academy Awards this year, all of the Oscar-winning actors basically said, believe in yourself. So that's never bad advice. Graham has certainly followed that advice across the span of her long career. For our latest role recall, 
the actress reflects on some of her signature cinematic characters, from drugstore cowboys doomed Nadine to Austin Powers' bodacious Felicity Shagwell, and spills details on the long-lost Danny Boyle film that almost nobody has been allowed to see.